Hello Virgo, welcome back to Angels Light to Row. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly message. Yes, 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 from our angels for August the 5th. <laughs> August the 5th through August the 11th. These are general messages. Yes, yes, yes. So, angels, guys, what is going on for this week for Virgo? Hmm. Virgo, Virgo, what's going on for Virgo? How's that retrograde? How's that retrograde? I think we're we'll at this this time we're still in the retrograde shadow. Yeah, so how is that retrograde um affecting you, Virgo? Angels and guides, angels and guides, we need a bonus for Virgo. Yes, we do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, angels. What is going on? Hmm. For Virgo. Yes, yes, yes. For these seven little days, this is a general message. Mm-hmm. Yes. For Virgo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, a lot of clubs here, Virgo. Just a lot of clubs. Angels and guides, angels and guides, what is going on? Mm -hmm. We just need two more angels. Just two more, please. Just two more, please. For Virgo, what is going on? These, thank you, thank you, thank you. There's one, <laughs> there's one. Thank you, and there's the other. Okay, so Virgo, what's going on this week? We have, now remember, this is still retrograde. It's not retrograde any longer, but we're still in the shadow phase. Right? Yeah, phase, okay. So, major theme, the tower. And the tower is reversed, okay? With the three of clubs and the ace of clubs. I feel like, I feel like there's going to be a moment of, there's going to be a moment within this week that, um, It's almost like something comes up, not down. Something comes up. I'm picking up. Something comes up. And I feel like whatever it is that comes up, it has you worried. Worried about, I feel like this is some type of new conversation that's going on. It's it's a it's a up. It's an up moment. It's a um it's it comes out of the blue. It definitely comes out of the blue. It's a form of communication, or it even could be a thought that you have, but it comes up out of the blue. That's all I'm picking up. It comes out of the blue. And I feel like it's, it's, it's sh it kind of like shakes you for a second. Like, I feel like it's like almost like an earthquake, but it's in your mind. Yeah, it's, it's not a physical earthquake, it's a mental earthquake. Yeah, or a conversation that comes up that has you worried, okay? Now, in the middle, in, in the recent past, in the recent past, you had the king of swords with the ace of hearts and the five of clubs. So in the recent past, I feel like there was either you or someone else who was wielding a lot of power, a lot of power, and almost like in that power, um, like this person wasn't very loving and sweet and kind, right? I feel like this person was being a little bit selfish within themselves, and you weren't so sure how you... Like in, in one regard, my, my silly old pillow, in one regard, you, you went kind of back and forth how you felt about this situation, um, about this, this person or this energy in your life. And it could be someone that you worked with. It could be um, a relative. It could, it could be um, a friend. But whoever, whomever it was, I feel like there was no emotion attached to it. And yeah, somebody was like, totally into themselves, okay? But that's the recent past, that's the recent past. Now, in the middle of the week, you have the five of cups with the two of clubs and the seven of clubs. So in the middle of the week, I feel like there might be a little bit of, um, whatever this is with this tower card that's reversed, I feel like it's gonna cause you to go, it's a little bit of um, emotionally, like, sad that's that's the only word i can pick up just kind of distant like kind of like in your thoughts a lot like really that just happened <laughs> really that just happened and you it could put you in a situation where you might want to argue and be negative about the situation like i don't see this i don't see whatever is happening in this week i don't feel like it's going to be like you're going to keep your mouth shut about it like whatever comes up that's kind of got you worried about this new topic of conversation. I feel like you're like, you know what? 
I was never sure about this anyway. <laughs> You're like, I was never sure about this anyway. It's like, um, like I, I was never, I, I never, like emotionally, you just were never sure about it. And I feel like you could either talk about it, but if you do talk about it, please be mindful on the way that you speak about it. Be kind of non-attached about it. Kind of like, um, but I can see with this, you can kind of get into the, the moment of, you might want to argue a little bit about this because it's it's a little bit unsettling, okay? Now, let's go to the end of the week. Let's move on, okay, with this Mercury shadow retrograde. By the end of the week, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed with the Two of Hearts, with the Two of Hearts and the Ten of Diamonds. So I feel like by the end of the week, like there is a manner of you feeling left out in the cold. Well, I feel like you won't be feeling that way by the end of the week. And I feel like emotionally speaking, you're gonna feel a bit more confident, a bit more confident and financial and, and your values. I feel like your values will, um, it's almost like what you value in this um, bond. I feel like what you value in this bond becomes more you value more you're, you're valuing this bond more right now the bonus is the ten of cups you're feeling very very um content emotionally you might even be surrounded by family um children things of that nature um maybe kids grandkids um i, I pick up family i pick up family the seven of hearts is telling me that whatever the situation is that's making you feel I want to say it, it's making you feel like what is going on? What is going on here? I feel like you're going to be non-attached to it. And, and like I would want you to be non-attached to it because I feel like the more you are attached to it, I feel like it's um, it kind of hurts you a little bit and it might even worry you. So with this three of spades, you might be in a little bit of an influx for this week. Um, family, family. You know what? I feel like you might even be detached from family on the opposite side of this. Yeah, I feel like you might be detached. I, You know what? I'm feeling, you know what card I'm just picking up right now for this whole spread? I'm picking up the Hermit card. I'm picking up this is a week that you're going to want to go within. And it's almost, or or or, or like kind of like Cancer the Crab. Like you want to go within the shell. It's almost like something is happening this week. It's mentally, or it's a conversation that's going to happen that's going to be a bit unsettling and i i feel like when this when this conversation happens you're like um you just don't know what to do so a lot of times when you don't know what to do you just don't do anything you kind of i feel like you're retreating within yourself this week and you know by the end of the week you you i feel like you're going to feel better about um I feel like you're gonna feel better about a love bond. And I don't pick this two of diamonds up because it's with the five. I don't pick this two of hearts up. I feel like this is a love bond. I feel like you're gonna feel better about a love bond and you're gonna have you're gonna value this. That's what I'm picking up. You're gonna value this love bond more than it's an emotional bond. It could be with um, a best friend, it could be with a child, it could be with um, your partner, but I feel that you're gonna value this more. Um, you're gonna see the value in in that because I, I feel like whatever is happening, um, I feel like you're gonna have like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Virgo, there's a lot going on this week. I feel you retreating to self. I, I feel that you are um, definitely speaking your truth, but remember to do it with love. If you feel your temper, temper rising, kind of like, you know what? I need to go outside. I need to breathe before we continue this conversation, right? I feel like the seven of hearts is like being unattached. Allow people to be and what be, be who they are, what they are. Yes, yes, I feel like this will worry you a bit, but being non-attached emotionally is what's going to see you through this situation, okay? So take care of yourself. Go get a massage. Go to the beach. Do whatever. Walk with no shoes on in the grass. Do whatever it takes to feel good this week. Take care of yourself. Love on yourself this week. Okay, Virgo, I send you joy. Namaste and much, much love. Sent your way.